I found that it's not really worth sort of going bull in a bull at a china shop if you're trying to get somebody to cooperate who is a good source and who want who you want to tell their story. No good, no good going straight in and saying I've got an idea what you want to tell me now. Can we film it? Are you willing to be photographed? I think first off you've got to win the confidence of that person, make them believe and and genuinely they should believe this because it's true that that you just want to get the truth told that you're not out there to exploit them that you're not out there to take advantage of them, but that their story and what they have to say is the most important thing. And if you genuinely believe that and go after it, I suppose, with, a, with an honest heart, I, I think people will pick up on that. People do sense whether you're genuine or whether you, you're full of BS, quite honestly. So uh, be honest about with it, uh, be honest about it and, and be sincere about it. Um, when you ask somebody uh, about their story, it, it's no good, as I say, immediately asking Will they go on television? Will they have their photograph taken? Get the story from them as they want to tell it. It's their story after all, and at best you're, you're a collaborator in the process of getting their story out there. Um, when you do broach the subject of getting the story out, I mean, clearly we all understand that if you're on radio, you want them to be named, you want to hear their voice. If it's on television, you want to see their face. If it's in a newspaper, you want to see their photograph. But if they can't do that because it would compromise them professionally or personally, or, or if they just won't do that because not everybody is comfortable having the glare of publicity turned upon them, well, what do you do? Do you walk away from the story? Do you say, oh, sorry then, we can't tell it? Well, if it's a good story, no, you don't. So what's your fallback position? Obviously, you persuade as gently, but you know, firmly as you can for the, the full exposure, if you like. But, but the fallback position is that if, if, for example, it's television, that the person might appear in silhouette so that the viewer still sees that it is a real person, but they would understand through the use of silhouette that that person can't be identified. Or on radio, uh, the use of a, a disguised voice is, is a very common and useful technique. Uh, if neither of those happen, then you've still got a fallback. If it's television, you could uh, y use the, the idea of having an actor voice the words of a person. Again, that works well on radio, and it, it's nothing to be ashamed of. Clearly, we all know what the ideal is, but if you can get somebody to credibly portray the, the real words of an individual, even if it is an actor, then nevertheless, I think the emotion and the, the truth of the story will carry across. So, uh, yes, you know, it's not an ideal position, to be offering somebody simply to voice up their words or, or to be getting an actor to play their part. But if the alternative is not to get the story out there at all, then I think though that it's certainly much better than nothing.